Hi there. I've been thinking a good deal recently about a friend of mine who died uh, several weeks ago. Um, he had a favourite song. It was I'm Not Under Law, but Under Grace would often sing it. And I decided to try and find where that was in the Bible. I discovered it in Romans chapter 6, where it says this. For sin shall not be master over you, for you are not under law, but under grace. Paul goes on to say how hard it is to avoid sin. The, the things he doesn't want to do, he finds himself doing. And the things he knows he should do, he doesn't do. And he's, he's in a bit of turmoil about it. It reminds me of uh, something that happened to me a long time ago when I was a young teacher again, back in the early 80s. Uh, I was in my 20s. And uh, there was a request for someone to go from the school uh, with a group on a, a sort of outdoor pursuits week. And this was going to be held down in Paul and it was with the Royal Marines. I thought, well, I could handle that with the Royal Marines. And I duly took a, a small group of boys and girls down uh, to their base down in Paul and had four or five days where we did various wonderful things including being dropped off the top board in a swimming pool in a canoe and stuff like that. Anyway, one day we um, we went out to the Jurassic Coast and we found ourselves at a place called Dancing Ledge and we were going to uh, do some climbing and abseiling there. And uh, it, I was looking forward to it. I thought, I can handle this. I'm, you know, young and fit. I can manage it. So uh, it came to be my turn and we did all the checked all the bee laying was going to work and uh, the carabiners were in place and I had a harness on and everything I was tied on and I looked up and I saw the the marine at the top there and he shouted down in your own time so here we go so I started going up the the cliff it was pretty vertical actually but I found it quite straightforward I was able to make good progress I was going up but then after a while it, it, it began to get a bit more difficult um, and that was because there just didn't seem to be as many handholds and footholds to find. I had to really look around to, to see where I, there were any. Plus the fact, psychologically, it was getting more difficult because I was getting higher. I'd look over my shoulder from time to time and see the beach and, and the people below and the sea. And, and uh, it started to play on my nerves a little bit. Um, well, without quite realising it, I started to move to one side of the rope. The rope was at the vertical and I started to move sideways. I started to traverse so that I could find more handholds and um, without noticing I, I started to move quite a long way to one side. Eventually I got to a place where I, I, I couldn't move anymore. I couldn't go up or down or sideways and uh, it was it was pretty scary. I could hear the wind blowing it was quite quiet, but I could also hear somebody nearby whimpering. And uh, and I realised it was me, because <laughs> I was so scared. <laughs> and, um, you know, it was, it was a tough situation. Now, I got out of it because the Marine just let me down gently. But the thing that I was really scared about was that if I fell, I wouldn't simply fall backwards I would fall sideways and I'd take the skin off my face yeah, that was what was really bothering me anyway as I said he, he let me down and it was slowly slowly and gradually I came back to the vertical and when I got to the top he looked at me and he said why did you do that <laughs> and I didn't really have an answer but it reminds me of what Paul's saying the, the very thing that you don't want to do you find yourself doing and that's what happened on that day. So I'll read you that bit. It's in Romans 7. For what I am doing, I do not understand, for I am not practicing what I'd like to do, but I am doing the very thing I hate. He goes on, but if I am doing the very thing I do not want, I'm no longer the one doing it, but the sin that dwells in me. What he's really saying is that uh, we are in Christ, we've been saved, we're not under law, but under grace. But there is, there is still this sin working in us. What's the answer? Well, he, he says later, wretched man that I am, who will set me free from the body of this death? 
Thanks be to God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then on the one hand, I myself in my mind am serving the law, the law of God, but on the other with my flesh, the law of sin. Therefore, there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and death. He's saying that although these things uh, affect us and we find ourselves doing things we don't want to do or not doing the things we should do, um, the grace of Christ saves us. It's like that rope holding on to us. And the day we gave our lives to Christ, that rope was attached. And we do go off sideways, if you're anything like me, one way or another. But there is no condemnation in Christ. The law of sin and death does not apply to us. Isn't that good news? And if we ask him, if we come back to God regularly, he brings us back to the verse.